you will you will realize that a walking stick will be, will it would be the best toy for days. Hi there, glad you could uh, join me. Do you have a walking stick? Do you even need a walking stick? Uh, well, that's, that's up to you, I guess. <laughs> but uh, for me, uh, especially when I walk in the mountains, for example, I always bring a walking stick, a wooden walking stick. So uh, I thought that maybe we can have a look at how to do a uh, simple simple project a walking stick so let's have a look so uh, here we have hazel hazel tree and uh, i found that hazel is extremely it's very hard it's not very flexible when it is dry not very flexible and uh, it's often very straight so uh, you can find a lot of ready-made walking stick almost. But what I wanted to say first, now, a walking stick is something that I think is much more uh, important than just walking and keeping your balance. You can use it for when you wade or streams, you need some kind of walking stick. You, uh, you can have it when you walk in rocky terrain, it's a third leg for you. Um, and uh, if you jump over some something, when you have begin using a walking stick, you you will realize the many uses of the wa a walking stick. And this uh, this um, this walking stick walkthrough will be uh, in two parts. So the first part now is uh, how to get the the uh, the material. And uh, the next part is uh, how to make it custom made. You see here, carvings and if you want some kind of um, uh, surface treatment on it. So the first thing I want you to, to notice here is that this is, uh, has been growing. Um, this end here is your uh, end that will point down. So this end here will point down. So it will be the other way around because it is thinner up here and it is thicker here. And uh, it's also a uh, cause of the balance because you want it to have a little more weight here, up here, uh, compared to down here. So it makes it easier with the balance when you walk. It's actually uh, uh, a big difference. If you have the right balance, the stick will basically walk by itself. Not not really, but it may, you will feel the balance is better. And uh, the height of your walking stick, uh, I found that if you have it um, ice, the, the height of your ice when you stand up, of course, that's the uh, the height you want. So. Let's take this one. So first we measure it. How long we want, want it. I think I will take it about about here and then shorten the other end as well. So the thin end will be your your um, the, the the end pointing down and uh, about your eyes, height of your eyes, I would say. Okay. 
next step is, uh, of course, a cup of coffee. That's essential for any kind of woodwork like this. You have, you need your coffee. Uh, you need a knife. And now, what we do now is just we want to to uh, to uh, now this this should dry uh, for uh, two weeks or so. So uh, then we just uh, we need to carve away the bark and then we just store it a couple of weeks indoors so it can or outdoors if it's summer so uh, it can be dried out and uh, <clears throat> A walking stick is not just for walking. I realized that that uh, around around camp, uh, independent if you are in the woods or in the mountains hiking, uh, you can use it for, for example, you can use it to dry clothes. When you have walked uh, during the summer, your clothes are wet uh, and sweaty. You can put them on this stick. Another thing is that you can use it for over your fire uh, to uh, to uh, cook food, hang your coffee pan. You can uh, use it to. Uh, I, I use it for my hammock when you have the guidelines uh, and want to pitch the the tarp up a bit so you can can um, have a better view. I take the. Um, the walking stick and hazel you can use whatever um, whatever <laughs> uh, type of wood of course but I would say that hazel is extremely hard this one is, is very thin it's like my thumb up here and I can put all my weight on this stick without it even bending and it's very light when it's dry it's it's extremely light and also, if you, if you have kids with you in the mountains, but there is no trees, <laughs> nothing to play with, <laughs> you will you will realize that a walking stick will be, will it will be the best toy for days. <laughs> From own experience. So, but that's it. So I guess this is the end of the first part of this walking stick walkthrough. The next part, this will be dry. We will uh, make some carvings uh, on it and we will uh, also surface treat it so it looks more, well, old school, I, I guess you can say, if you want to have it that way. So, see you next in part, in part two. <laughs> Take care, have a nice day and uh, see you next time.